Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact again. So, I want to continue the Archon Quest eh. Act 3. What, what, what did we did last time? Uh, we met Ganyu. And now we are going to go back to the uh, harbor. Something's gonna happen, I think. Right here. Huh? What happened? The city gate is swarming Fatui. with Milith and Fatui. Milith and Fatui. This atmosphere is highly abnormal. It seems as though something big has happened. We should ask around a little, just to be safe. Okay then. So what's going on? Ah. You're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhongli, I presume. The Millilith are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. Desperate times? The Adepti of Juyun Cars are finally on the move. Adepti of Juyun Cars. Okay, those three. Do they intend to exercise force? Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well, I say meet, but it's more like they're attempting to stall the Adepti outside the city. Mm hmm? However, both sides were quite obstinate and hit an impasse. It seems inevitable, given the current situation. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Chi Sing. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. Yeah. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. Surely the Liyue Chi Sing are not the sort to give in so easily. <laughs> Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet, it's because of that obstinacy that mortals and Adepti are now on the verge of oh, conflict. No. And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Ah, uh, that's all Ningguang's doing. Ningguang's doing? What did he She proclaimed do? that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rein in the actions of the Fatui. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> that's the Qixing for you. Anyway, Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. Okay. It looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. Uh, is there anything we can do? Do you intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? Or will you use your sword to turn the balance? Neither path is mm -hmm. an easy one. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli. We've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has also been caught up in all of this. They're currently squaring off with the authorities at the gates. Things are taking a turn for the worse. I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Okay. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Consider your next course of action carefully, Traveler. If you're trying to prevent an explosion, it may be wisest to look for the fuse first. <sighs> Having connections with the Fatui seems to be quite the double-edged sword. So what did Xiangli mean by looking for the fuse? Child. <laughs> Look for child first. That ginger guy. Mr. More Money Than Sense. I guess I'll say this. Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants to see the whole city turned upside down, it's definitely him. He must be waiting for the moment when no one is watching to do something really bad. But where could we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this? There's only one place he would go. I myself not sure where. Go to the golden house. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I can make it from here. <laughs> yeah, we make it. So the golden house It's a domain Um okay I have a bad feeling about this There's gonna be some kind of fight maybe Your pursuit of the truth brings you to the very heart of the political storm that has been slowly brewing in Liyue Harbor Time to peer beyond the glittering gold to see what looks Okay I think I'm ready. Wow! This is the Golden House? It looked impressive enough from the outside, but who would have guessed that it was even full fancier Mora. on the inside? And so full of Mora! This is where all of Tibet's Mora is minted, right? In that case, maybe they mm. won't notice if a few Mora go missing. Nah, touch a single Mora, we're done for. If it were that easy, this place would have been emptied long ago. True. Oh, so it's a trap! Tricky, tricky. Good thing Paimon's got you here. But even if we can't take it, 
honey, we can still have a closer look, right? Be careful. Or better yet, take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora. It's like a dream come true. You better check on the Exuvia first, yeah. Something feels amiss here. I oh, see this. Right, back to business. It's quiet. Mm hmm Too quiet. Surely someone's gotta be guarding something as important as the Exuvia. Huh? Look! What the middle here? Lid? They've been not unconscious. Uh oh. Paimon oh, no. trouble. Quick, we have to go make sure that the Exuvia is all I right. I sense someone we have to fight maybe. Examine the Exuvia. Oh this place is huge. Hmm? You've already fulfilled your task as guides. So why do you That's still child. linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? That's child, right? Huh? Who's there? <sighs> yeah, it if is. If you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross. And you're in my way. How did you find out it was here? Intel leak, I guess. Looks like I was just in time then. Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret location, don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? <laughs> Stopping the more immense, hiding away the Exuvia. <laughs> the Chising are really pulling out all the stops this time. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? <laughs> As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers. It's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. Hmm. The Tsaritsa will, huh? She will get that which she desires. Not if I have anything to say about it. I won't allow you to get near the Exuvia. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing. And there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. The time you for have to fight him? diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. The battle. Oh my, we are battling child. The battle? So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? Oh boy, let's go. <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> when Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral in Mondstadt, she swiftly left the scene once her mission was accomplished. Uh-huh. Instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. We won't let what happened in Mondstadt ever happen again! Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I won't kill you, Traveler. I'll just play along to feel the thrill of battle. Just play along? Besides, you could never defeat me. Not even in your wildest dreams. But hey, try to relish the fight anyway. Because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? You're completely delusional. <laughs> fighting talk, I love it. Now let's see you live up to it. Oh man, fighting him. What level is he? Forty-seven. Ah, no problem. Hard to come by, so show me all you've got. Oh yes, he's. So very few yes, the, the arrow and the sword, right? So come now, oh. amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint. Oh, 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 okay. I've tried him before, so I know his moves. But not a boss battle kind. Oh shit, okay. This doesn't look tough because I'm over leveled this time. Ops. I need a heal though. What the? 
Yeah, you can't shoot me this time. I have the. Oh, what? Okay. What? He has a phase two? Delusion unleashed. What? Oh, okay, this is new. I don't know this. Give me a shield. This is second, second, uh, second phase. Eh? Oh. I have a shield. Ouch. Okay, never mind. What? Okay. I need to freeze him. Oh, he can't. Oh no, what is this? Okay. Oh. Oh. oh shit. Come on, come on. I missed? Oh, it's not over yet. Not bad. Your swordsmanship is oh, quite impressive. But that's about as far as you'll get. Oh. Is Traveler still using wind? Oh wait, with Gra with the uh, Geo? You can use both? <laughs> okay. Oh no. Nothing. I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You you beat me to it, didn't you? What? Not sure what's going on. Oh shit, he's going all out. What the... Is this a phase 3? Tartaglia, okay that's the name. That's the name of his character. Oh shit. Oh my god, is this a phase three? It is a phase three. Child. Oh my gosh. Phase three now. We didn't even actually get the genosis or whatever. Yeah, we didn't take it. So something else is going on here then. To light up this. Oh, what the? What is this? What is that move? Don't waste my time. Oh, okay. Yes, I got this. Now I need you last. First, I need you last first. Actually, we are almost done. We are almost done. We can just finish him. 
There we go. Because <laughs> I'm over there, but actually, she. Transformation was too great. He can body. transform like that. I lack the opportunity to think this through. Can we can we get that transformation if we use child? That'd be cool. <laughs> and now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the gnosis. Okay, so yeah, we didn't take the gnosis. You had no connection to the gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. So that's what we've been trying to tell you. We didn't take it. Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? I'm gradually restoring my former power. I'm collecting the powers of the seven elements. Yeah, I think he's going to collect the powers of the seven elements. He got the wind, now he got the geo. You can use both at the same time, actually. You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. <laughs> Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. I guess we will meet again. Pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. <laughs> Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. Because I think I understand now that Exuvia is not the real... Because I, I, I already have a feeling because I'm, I'm kind of small a bit that Song Li is the Geo Archon. So this Exuvia is not the Geo Archon, right? What's going on? In actually? fact, it might be that the Exuvia mm. was just a diversion of sorts. Yeah. What? So you mean that Rex Nappi still lives? The corpse? Ah, yeah, the corpse was fake. Right? Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. Zongli... Plan this? Isn't it? As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Backup plan? What's your backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this, for the weak will be swept away in the process. What do you mean? The truth is, the world belongs to those who pursue strength. I seldom willingly involve myself with the weak. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. So what are you planning to do? Hmm. I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. The god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest? A god? Osile, overlord of the Vortex. Who was defeated by Morax, the Geo Archon in the Archon War, okay. and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archon stone spears ever since. If such an ancient god were to be unleashed upon Liu Harbor, defending without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? So you're trying to, you're calling for him. You're calling for Rex Lapis to come him and stop that. Well, I wonder. <laughs> Let's see. Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. I was thinking though. Um, never mind. I'll... Hey, those are sigils of permission. Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. I saw your research with my own eyes. You've been trying to duplicate them. So yeah, that's what Charles was doing all along. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. Hmm. The sigil permission we got was just a duplicate also, right? 
With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon Spears for a time should be no obstacle. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me, and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more mm -hmm. intriguing. Don't tell me there's another fight. Oh no, the weather changed. Please don't lag here. Sorry, I couldn't show everything, it was so lagging. But don't worry, I'll watch it. What, uh, that scene from YouTube, maybe. Something happened. Oh my gosh. Just as we came out of the Golden House, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. <sighs> Did we make it in time? Is the Overlord of the Vortex still in the sea? It hasn't destroyed Leela yet, has it? The Overlord of the Vortex. Oh, so. What are you doing here? Huh? Hold on. It's the Adept guy. Oh, everyone what else is here. What are you doing here? on the Jade Chamber? Paimon thought you were arguing with the chi Sing. Is the fighting over? Faced with the calamity of such magnitude, we have agreed to put our differences aside for now and unite okay. against this common enemy. Good. Oh, Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Leela? Eh, just seeing this overlord of the that? vortex guy puts a pit in Paimon's tummy, even from all the way out here. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyu Harbor. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? <laughs> now that's scary. So will the power of the Chising, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... not necessarily. Hmm? What? But all of you are supposed to be the guardians of Lilith. Can't you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet, it would take one but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an engine of war beyond mm -hmm. your wildest thoughts. <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to Mammoth. Ooh. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't let me in. Okay, there we go. There we go. We have to fight off. The three Adeptire men in the Quajon Ballista. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. All able Millilith, with me. Okay. Let's go help you. East Quajon Ballista HP. Have not faced a god in several millennia. Let one oh no. see what you're made of then. We have to protect. The uh, Grisan Ballista, okay. There you go. There's more here. Yeah, just use Ning Guang. We can create shields also. More I should find them. Uh. 
Oh wait, there's more here. Oh shit. No, 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 no. There we go. Got five minutes. To Not to get hit. Oh shit. Oh shit. That looks like that similar like uh who's attack? The oh shit shit shit. Their attacks are unrelenting. Huh. How daring. Snezhnai's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Shit. Every last one. Shut up. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. There are so many victory too. The damping. Don't lose heart. Here, take this. Thanks to Madame Pink's, your attacks against the enemy will have shock waves. Oh, nice. Oh no, 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 no. Hold up. I need the shield. What? Stop this guy. There's still more. Stop that, stop that, stop that. With the blood of the Chilean, I guard Can you against evil. Cast your fear of injury by the Who's wayside, survivor and capability? fight with all your might. I too did this during the Archon War. <sighs> so this is what Ganyu's like in a fight. My name is Swiss. Yeah. Movement speed increase, okay, giving us buffs. And I'm lagging so much. Hold up. Where are the rest? Oh. 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 You build all three powers at once. Perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them at that. Submit. Oops. Stop that one, stop that one. That one's almost Don't waste my time. Fire, fire, fire. fire. Still more there. Give up. Submit. Six. Crush. Fake for mercy. Uh. Resistance. 
No, no. Stop. The Fatui's numbers are thinning. All right. Fight on, comrades. Once we finish this lot off, the Adepti will be able to deal with the God in peace. Is that is that it? Are we done? Let's dance. Oh. Oh, don't like some more. <laughs> Oh shit. Okay, he's saved. Be careful now. The Guishang Ballista is destroyed. Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. What do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. So this is the sacrifice. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Meet again in the future. So this is where the Jit Chamber gets destroyed. Sacrifice. Wow. I have to look uh, th that scene uh, properly. Too much lag. I can't see the scene properly. Is it finally over? How did they get this to show? The ominous see? aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the overlord of the vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. <sighs> if the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. About that. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone and of the Liyue Chi Sing. That Jade Chamber is destroyed. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liyue means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh. Hmm? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone. Just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm. Hmm? I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? This morning? In the dream, I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. 
Each passing generation of the Qixing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Qixing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world. Establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Oh, Ningguang. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? And there's this clock between the gardens and those they were meant to defend. Harmony becomes very difficult to restore. Right! That's mm -hmm. something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the four winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell yep, the strife same. between the two sides because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both and that nothing good would come of it. Each of the seven nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, as Adepti, we've become a laughing stock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? I apologize for appearing in full armor. Fenyan. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. Hmm? And who are you? I am Feng Yan. A sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. <sighs> Chang Why Chang. does everyone look so down? Didn't we just meet that big monster? Yeah. <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. Everyone was there. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and tasty snacks and, and loads of things that make the harbor so pretty. Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please, come visit us for the next Lantern Rite. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh, okay. It must be hard being an Adeptus. You see, this is what Liu mm -hmm. is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection. But it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. The time of contracts between gods and Liu has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Liu and its people. Okay. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liu Harbor. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. They listen to what the people have said and they're trying to understand things from their perspective. Let us return now. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the conqueror of demons means. The city of Liyue has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue, you humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. Fair enough. Away we shall. And return whence we came. Okay. Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, Moon Carver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All's well that ends well, huh? Yeah. Oh, right! It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Where is the Geo Archon? Because... Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure yeah. Rex Lapis out. Where's Rex Lapis? But we were able to handle the overlord Without of the Vortex Rex on Lapis. our own. Yeah. So Rex Lapis never showed up. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of yes. the Archon's death too? So the story's not over yet. Look for Zhongli. Yeah. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus Rite of Parting that we're organizing? No idea where Zhongli's going. Let's ask for him at Wangsham Funeral Parlor. Okay. Zhongli, you got some explanation to do. I'm still continuing because... I don't know if this might be the end or at least try at least finish up act three. I think this might be the last, I'm not sure. Still act three, not finished. 